talk about there is the $601,000 that we have in our equity, in our assets, and in our investor capital. Um, we have not gone through a bid-out process. That's one of the things that Matt talked about. The idea is not for us to take out more money than we need to get into the property and make it functional and be in a position for it to be a success. So we're going to continue to go through a bid-out process and see how we can take that number and we can get the money down. But we do not want to do that at the expense of not making sure that we have the ability to make Tatter Flag the attraction that it is supposed to be. This is not something that is designed to just be a small town microbrewery. There's a lot of stuff that we're looking to do with the building. Uh, I think it's really important that we talk about who helped us put this plan together. We've worked with some really good minds in the industry, um, the guys that are CEOs of companies, restaurant chains, and people that have evolved craft brewery eatery places. Um, Umami is the one that, that comes out the most. Um, the CEO of Umami was actually the president of Mining at one point, who I became really close with. That's the franchise that my brothers and I own in automotive repair. And that is a company that if you do your research on it has tremendously grown in a short period of time. Having access to those kinds of people, people whose jobs are to come in and set up restaurants, create menus, and go through and ensure that the business is going to be successful. Accountants, uh, banks, other brewers and distillers that we've been working with and going and seeing and asking for help and making sure that we're surrounding ourselves with the right people that put us in a position to be a success. <clears throat>